What's going on everyone? It's Brayden with Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Today we're discussing this piece. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. This is my website www.jacoji.com. You can't see me. When I made my latest video, Men Wearing Women's Jewelry, I made a statement that the rubies in these types of pieces were fake. A lot of people had questions regarding that statement that I made. Now, I really like the combination between the red and the yellow and the diamonds. It's an awesome, awesome look. Um, but you need to know exactly what you're buying when you're buying this piece. So one day, you know, this piece is kind of a trendy piece. Five years from now, no one will be wearing this. Most likely, if you have something like this, you go to resell it, you go to the jewelry store, they weigh your piece out, they do the calculations, you have eight grams of gold, and you know, the diamonds, this, this, and that, and then they give you a low price for it, and you say, wait, there's a ruby inside of it, they're gonna look at you like, seriously? It's most likely a synthetic glass or, you know, imitation ruby, it's not real. Now, why do I keep saying that they're not rubies? Guys, rubies that this size with this kind of uh quality that they're putting out claiming rubies go up to million two million dollars i mean the price per carat is like a quarter of a million dollars i know you might think that your jewelry is a real plug but he's not giving you that great a deal he'll be out of business very quickly now i don't think your jeweler is trying to scam you by mislabeling this a uh, ruby i just think it's something that attaches it to it because everyone knows what a ruby is you wouldn't buy this piece if i told you hey this is a glass piece with diamonds and gold it just doesn't have any attachment to it so the ruby is that attachment because it's red but it's just at the end of the day it's false i've actually had clients request these types of pieces and I, I have no problem making it but before I make it I inform exactly what they're buying when I explain it just like I'm explaining it to you you know every time they said okay I'm gonna go with something a little bit different I didn't know it was a, it was a fake ruby because really what you're buying is the gold diamonds around it if you love the piece that much then that's another thing but once people are informed that you know basically what you're buying is something that that's not what it what everyone thinks it is then it's a different story now that this design is popular we've seen this design with the micro pave diamonds instead of the ruby that's a little bit more realistic because you're using all diamonds everywhere a little more value um, but if you're comparing you could probably get away with putting a real diamond in this one instead of a real ruby because real rubies of this size can command more per carat than a diamond could um, so you know same thing if you're just to put micro pave rubies everywhere it'd be a little bit more realistic than claiming you know a big glass stone as being a, a ruby and these pieces even though they look great they kind of tick me off because rubies are so valuable and the mislabeling on these pieces are crazy. Now, in the last year or so, I've seen people kind of change the names. They've, they've started labeling other words. They'll put ruby in front and then label it onyx at the end because, you know, when you're buying it, you want to buy something you could associate with and the ruby is that. Everyone knows what a ruby is. They've been around since, you know, beginning of man and they'll stay around. Most rubies on the market right now are treated. Most color stones are. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but just so you guys know exactly what you're buying, it might be treated in some way or another. There's a lot of different treatments for colored stone. It depends on the colored stone, but just know that. Now that you guys have a little more information about these pieces, it's up to you to decide if you know you want to invest in the fake stone with the gold and diamonds or just go with something different. Just know that these aren't real rubies. They could be different semi-precious stones. You have to research it and see the labeling and just Google it on your own. See what the stone is, if there's any value in it, if you're just going that route. Um, but it's up to you. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for today's video. Please like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.